Love is God and God is love. A relationship without God is as good as using it because God is the foundation of love. Blessings friends and welcome. My name is Jonathan Owara. I welcome you to this episode of Embrace. We've been talking parenting. Parenting is a wonderful topic. Parenting children. As we dive into this, let's pray. Our Lord and our God, thank you for the opportunity to learn about parenting children. Teach us in Jesus' name. Amen. So in the last episode, we looked at a father as a head. The role of a father is as a head. And look at some of the parts that are on the head. The eyes, the ears, the tongue, the mouth, and all others. Today, we look at a father by writing down and using the acronym FATHER. The second role, or the different, the many roles of a father are one, a father is a friend. One is a father is a head. The next one, a father is a friend. Proverbs chapter 17, verse 17a says, a friend loves at all times. The role of a father is to love at all times. You are a friend. Love at all times. Even when a child is annoying, when a child is so, you're supposed to love at all times. We see this from our own heavenly father, God, that while we're still sinners, he died for us. A father loves at all times. A father is an authority. That's the role number three of a father. You are an authority. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 2 says, Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise. A father is an authority in a home. It's important that you as a father remember that you are an authority. You, what you speak comes to be. What you decide comes to be. If it's wrong, it will be dangerous. If it's good, it will help. And I want, in this regard, I'll talk about the three sources of blessing under authority. There are three sources of blessing. There are many sources of blessings, but I'll talk about three. One, the first source of blessings from God. Genesis chapter 1 verse 28 tells us that then God blessed them. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 says, Praise be to God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ Jesus. So the first source of blessing is God. The second source of blessing is parents. And that's why I want to dwell a little bit. Ephesians chapter 2, 6 verse 2, tells us to honor our fathers and mothers, which is this first commandment with a promise so that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on earth. Fathers, you are a blessing. You can either bless or curse. You are a blessing. You are a source of blessing. The third source of blessing is work. Second Thessalonians verse 10 says that, for even when we're with you, we gave you this rule, that if a man will not work, he shall not eat. So a father, you are an authority. You are a blessing. You are a blessing. You are a source of blessing. You train the children to work. You're blessing them. You speak good to them. You're blessing them. So please learn to exercise your authority by blessing your children. Don't speak negative and evil. A father is a trainer. We talked about this. And it's the theme for our parenting training. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. A father is a hard worker. We talked about it. We talked about earning. Your work is to earn. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 23 says, All hard work brings profit, but mere talk only brings poverty. You are supposed to work and you're a hard worker. That's your role. You're supposed to work harder than everybody else in the family. Another role of a parent is to be an example. 1 Corinthians 11, 1, Paul says, Follow my example as I follow the example of Christ. Dear parent, dear father, you are an example. You are supposed to be an example. 
You must be an example. That when your children look at you, they want to be like you. It's your role to be an example. It's your responsibility to be an example. I need to be an example for my daughter and my children, for my wife. And lastly, a father is a risk taker. You take risks on behalf of the family. You're supposed to take risks for development, risks for protection, risks for moving forward. It is your role as a father. Dear parents, dear fathers who are watching me, dear fathers to be, you're a risk taker. Thank you for watching this segment of Embrace.